Alrighty, let's watch this in full first. That's cute. Cool. Alright, my first comment is actually about the camera. I'm not sure we need this pan over. Like, we're almost expecting something now to come in this way. You're leading us over there. I would just keep it the way it is. So it's also a bit more... You know, it's heavier on this side. It gives us a bit more room here. Just giving us kind of a, an opening for this character to go this way anyway. And then it feels like you're doing a really big translate as well. Which kind of takes away from the timing and movement of the creature here. It's like, is it sliding a bit? Is this also the camera? And I know this, this is going to change the, the profile view a lot. But I personally... I would love to see this just with the rotation. Like, you're here... So creature here, small here, camera here. And all we do is just rotate over to see the robot and the creature there. Now, if you do this only from here on, right? No translates. And you just rotate. I'm not sure how this is going to end up, you know, in terms of silhouette and the way you staged it. Um, so maybe you have to do a test where maybe you keep it here. And then just rotate to the left backwards to see, does this still work? I feel like there's less to fix here because everything is nicely composed here and you have all of that stuff going here i think we're potentially a bit low on this guy because we're only this high it makes sense to have your framing here but then for the rest through all of this we're just generally a bit low i think we can even tilt up maybe a little bit when he gets up here when the creature gets up to kind of reframe and then come back down if you want to loosen up the camera a little bit or you have that creature, the robot, up here. I know this changes that, but I mean, it could work. And that way it's not so flat and you could have almost a little bit of a curvature. And then it's looking up. So we'll have this here. And then the robot is here. Just give it a bit more balanced um, composition. But yeah, I would look at what's the bigger damage <laughs> if you... Delete all the translate and you just rotate to the right. So you pan over to this. What does that look like? What's the angle? It might even be more profile. I'm not sure. Or you delete all the translates here and go to the left. Because we're translating over this way. I still think going this way backwards will be less damaging. So you can keep this composition. might just be yeah i think that might still work but there could be an issue in terms of size since we're also translating but since we're translating yeah to the left this turn might end up having a creature be too big and at the same time why not even though that's nice i mean a creature could also break frame and be you know if it's at the end it's like this and the little guy's here that can also work just kind of like overtaking everything like the protective parent creature and the little guys just there going out i don't know i would try that that's my my initial thought just in terms of staging i think what the mom is doing is okay happy picky it feels like it's just rotating up this way and you could have maybe a little bit of a like a, imagine it's laying like i was doing the snoring sound <laughs> but it's on here and it's pivoting off here so it rotates a bit like this that way, this is the pivot. It's leaning on this forearm. And then the up has a slight rotation roll to the side as well. So it's not just one axis simple there. And I will probably counter these. So that when the head goes up, that they stay where they are. So it doesn't feel like if that's, you know, if that's the head and these are the things. And the head goes up, that these are stiff going down this way as the head goes up. It's almost like you want these to... That's the head on the back. Like lay, lay on there. So even though the head rotates up, they kind of stay on there. Does that make sense? And you can still have if the head goes up. This could slide down a bit. Just depends. I don't know if that's going to take away from this nice silhouette here. So you can always start here. You still have it. You still have that breaking of the silhouette. And then if you go backwards, just rotate them down. They will still be at that point here. I hope that makes sense. 
for the little one, watch out for moments where you have a lot of elbow movement or rotation and then there's nothing going on here. So you want that wrist to rotate as well and then the fingers can either tighten and lock a bit so it doesn't feel so IK. That's cool, I don't mind this. Maybe it's a bit flat here, maybe you can keep the pinky a bit lower to break that flatness. It's, that's a bit lower here and it's still spread out on that land there. What I would do with this one, spread maybe 70% and then also maybe look at some grouping where maybe these two are closer together and these are further apart. And then keep your last 30% during this. Because this is just an adjustment. It's There's no real pressure on it, technically. So even the spreading here could be reduced. But now when the creature gets up here, and especially over this, there's pressure on this going down. And then you want some squash, and that's when you would spread the fingers. Then you could offset these a bit more so they don't get off the ground at the same time. It's cute, though. Same thing here, just offset. Not huge, but still. I like, I like that the rotation at least are offset there. But it kind of takes away from... Yeah, it's okay. I don't know, it still feels flat. I would maybe have... This would be nice to have a bit of a curvature. You could maybe have this guy up. I don't know, there's something about this feeling like a little, a little flat and a little stump with these guys out. I almost wish it would be... Still curved. I know we're going from here. Maybe just one or two. And then get into this. It just seems a bit simplified in terms of all of them are rotated. All of them are up. All of them are up and so on. It's a little bit of a variation in the finger posing. Could be neat. I don't know if you can do some spreading on these guys. Again, there's pressure now. Pushing down to go this way. So you would have compression and squash there. This one... I don't think that's the camera, but you can see how this goes up. Everything goes up, and suddenly we go back down. So this feels like you want to have a little bit of a one or two frames of ease in and then down. It's like a bit of a harsh direction change. So you can see the spacing here. This, I mean, sloppily drawn, but you know, like over here, 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 and then suddenly down. It's even down at the same height as the other one. So to me, it would be here, one more, then here, then here, and so on. Just kind of vary that a bit more. These guys, you can start offsetting a little bit. So you don't just flare up all at the same time. Let's see. Same thing here in terms of the toes. I would wait with that spread a bit. It's nice to have a variation of close to open. But then when that happens, that lean down, more pressure, that means you're going to flatten these. The shadowing also looks look like it's not a super flat contact. So you can flatten these a bit more, these toes. You can almost rotate them up a bit. Really feel that pressure by rotating, you know, the first joints down more and then the, the, the tip up. So a bit more of a compression and spread these a bit. And this feels a bit separated here. This, I'm not understanding the shoulder move up. Because what you have to do is if this goes up here, I would actually translate the body over this, right? You're shifting weight a little bit. And then by doing that, then the shoulder goes up. Yeah, I feel like that shoulder comes out of nowhere. And this one, I'm not quite buying. You're, you're putting this down here. And it's over one, two. And then we immediately go back. I'm not super buying the weight. Like we're going. It's nice to have negative space here. I'm just looking at the idea of it's putting the leg forward and then we immediately go back. But that back has to come from these arms pushing. And we're barely there. Feels like you want to hold this two more frames and with that push off instead of going straight like that since we're already on a downwards move the body continues to go down and then up it's like we're doing this if that makes sense 
So the body goes down this way, and then we go up versus down. Keep going down a bit. Give this two more frames, and then it can go back up. But then this here, I would do once you're back here. Now it's, you know, you can see, especially with the toes out, we're putting pressure on this. So now the body will go up a bit and you're going down, 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 down. It's kind of, it feels a bit soft. I don't feel the relationship between the arm and the, and the body, basically, how they're both affecting each other. So you go back and you do this, I would go back and then up a bit. Not the butt, but the chest a bit. Then you can do the down and up. It's cool. But then, let me see. He does this. This, I'm not sure acting-wise what the creature is doing. Like, it's it's going to the thing. This gets too close. So it gets, goes back just in case. But this feels more like it's it's fainting, falling asleep type of thing of blah, 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 versus is it trying to get there again? And then it kind of slides off because it, it it's too far at, at the edge there. It's just this drop of the head here, this way and drop. And then keeping it that low where it's again not pointing facially up there, like with the, with the head, not like facially, whatever, with the rotation of the head. That moment just feels unclear. I'm not sure what's going on with the creature at that point. And I think this we can go... Watch out, you have a lot of movement again in the forearms here. And all that in the fingers, but then this section is really stiff. It's going to have to have a little bit of more rotation, banking, and, and flattening there. But then you're pushing up. I feel like you want to hold this. Go from here to here, like almost, instead of now going forward, continue to go back a little bit for a slight hold, and then down. It feels like we're not, we're not giving this enough weight. Because the thing is, you're going up. I know this is, you know, physics versus performance, but even if it's over a couple of frames, you're you're pushing the creature up this way. And how can it go back down? Because it's straight up. So it's going to be a bit more weight-focused physics and balance versus... Like, if it would jump this way, it can use the legs to override, you know, whatever physics, because it's now jumping and breaking that. But this, there's nothing where... It's holding on to something to crawl its way forward. And I don't think the rest of the animation is that um, stylized, if that makes sense, where you can push that up and down like this. So to me, this should be a bit more physics driven in terms of up, couple, like two, three frames, hold, going up, and then drop. And that's kind of that. The robot's cute, maybe a bit spliny. It could have some moments where you, for contrast, where this is bigger and smaller. So the small would have a bit of a zzz, 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 like a bit of a, some faster moves a little bit. Like even this back here goes straight back where I would rotate it. So the rotors are like this and it's, it's kind of leading with the rotors going back and forth. You can keep this loose if you want. It's the only thing about this. This, this guy feels a bit loose, but I love this guy and I want to, Animate this guy in the future as well. It's cute. I love little mechanical robot things. And that's kind of that. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.